Hi guys, today we are going to be uh, unboxing and showing you these new boots that we got from M&M Direct but these boots aren't for me, they're for my dad so, so, so he gets something related to football for once For why? Um, because when we go and train in the park he needs boots because his feet always get wet and he doesn't have boots and his mercurials that we did not on my channel on awesome kid youtuber that we did um a long time ago yeah are too tight for him because mercurials are quite narrow and i think my dad has wide feet and they keep on stamping on his foot and i keep on what else do i keep on doing <coughs> toe poking the ball and what else do i keep on doing Miss kicking the ball. But that's not normal because I'm rubbish. But oh. what else do I normally keep doing? Because I haven't got no grips on the. Oh, like, slipping. Slipping, falling over, and looking foolish. Right. Anyway, um, those Mercurials, they were brilliant boots. They're Mercurials the AG Pros. Really good, the old ones. Yeah. Vapor, vapor, super vapor. Yeah, vapor. Vapor without the collar, without these yeah, yeah, with soft fit. And yeah, they were yeah so the vapors they were really good. They were like that kind of kind of the old style um, mercurials before this kind of flying it came and they really come. And I tried them in Sports Direct the equivalent, the lower version with like Academy, and they seemed fine. And then when we got these ones, they were just too tight, not tight but uncomfortable. I thought let me just break them in, but I was just miserable wearing them. So you know, it's not as if I was playing matches in them. We were just training in them, so I just stopped using them. But you've used them a bit, haven't you? You'd find them okay. Yeah. So we got. What did we get? I'm gonna direct. Um, um, once again, a nasty box. Once again, a nasty box. He got a nasty box. That's, yeah, you got a nasty box, well, didn't you? And you got Look, a string. You got a really. You got a string bag and everything for your Netflix. Pure oh, no. Netflix. Yeah. And we got niche. So this is uh, what we got. A size. Nine and, a nine and a half because fortunately I tried yours on and yours mm. felt a bit tight because you're yeah I'm nine my ones are nine tried nine but you're the H um soft ground the yeah. FG because I'm putting yeah. up gonna it don't make that much difference to me so I figured yeah. to get F, uh, FG so let's go out yeah uh, you got one yeah. ones do you want one? Yes. I think they're one one. You want one one. A one one. Lever. F G A G. So a stud. So uh, your ones, where's yours? Have you got yours? So um, these are the same as your brothers, aren't they? Mm-hmm. The same, but these are soft ground and mine are these are AGs. A firm ground. A firm ground. A stud pattern. So identical but different colourway. Uh, I like that colour. I personally, I prefer your brother's colourway actually. So, it's but they're both of quite leery. I don't like it that way. Yeah, I like the black your tick on it. Um, so this is um, your um, soft gun. You wore them on Saturday. How did you find them? First time you wore them? Uh, quite normal. Comfortable. Yeah. How do you compare to Netflix? Yeah, I like the Netflix. More. Still. But I've not really played in these that much. I only play for 20 minutes in there. Yeah, I had to because you have to go somewhere. It's only got 20 minutes of matching. But did it feel, were they comfortable? Good grip? Yeah. Better grip than the FGs? No, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, good, all right touch? <coughs> yeah. Right. So um, that's cool. So they're just the same, but a larger size, nine and a half. Um, one thing that is different, I've got this bit at the front. This kind of texturing weird bit here, and you haven't. It's because both like adult, adult size. Ah, uh, maybe because AG, mm. artificial grass, maybe to protect these a bit more. With F, um, uh, see the FG AG, so protect them a bit more. What do you think? At the front here. Yeah. Protect them a bit more when they're on that surface. That kind of you can get more friction and stuff. So maybe it's a bit maybe more. Maybe it's not to ruin the leather. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, you because this is this is for AG as well. Yeah, it's AG, so astroturf, so artificial grass, astro kind of thing, and you can can get caught when you catch it. So yeah, maybe that's it. Um, colorway. Yeah, I like it. What do you prefer? 
That one. What do you guys prefer? I prefer your one actually. What do you guys prefer? The people who may be watching this. Um, the silver one. Yeah. So, um, stud pattern. Quite nice, nice design on the bottom. Not that anyone's going to see it really. It looks nice. Fairly flexible, nice and soft. They always do this, you know, in the video. They go like that. Go like all oh, nice and soft and soft. They do all this weird pressing, don't they? Uh, feel soft. Especially uh, J Mike. J Mike's really into that pressing them on uh, Unisport. Check out Unisport. And you've got this bit here for, not the same with Netflix, not as much. You can just adjust the fit. So if you want it more, I presume if you want more lockdown, you go here. Lower, maybe. Lower down, maybe. I don't, know. I don't think I'd change it. I think keep saying, I think they're, they're quite soft, like. Quite soft like and stuff. And you've got these uh, what do you um these bits here, what are these for? Um Pardon? um like pulling them so you get your foot easily in. Which is really clever because a lot of boots don't have these both sides, which makes sense, you can pull them on both. We're going to use a spray on them. Um on the material part like we have for this because though they're still going to get muddy and resist that mud a bit more and staining a Wait, bit more. I need to just get something. There's something like that. Something like that. Okay. So we're just going to um I'm gonna try them on in a minute and see what they're like. Look. M and M Dwight's really good. <laughs> what? Look my shoes. What? And yours. Oh the same kind of thing. Yeah he's just comparing these He's trainers, he's got the same kind of thing as that. Mm. Yeah. I like like it. Like like it. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's nice design. Puma are really coming on with these boots. They're not as best as maybe the, they're not as good as maybe the top end Nike and uh, Adidas, kind of Adidas X's or whatever you consider to be best Adidas boots they have out or the Mercurials, but these are nice. For the price, they're just fantastic. For the price, fantastic boots. I mean, I got these for sixty pounds or something like that. I'll, I'll, when I find out, I'll put a link to it as an M&M M Direct. You easy find an M&M M Direct. Sixty pounds is still a lot of money. It's still a lot of money, but for adult shoes, this is a top end, old. <coughs> the the, uh, the first kind of model, but the top yeah. end one. So they're yeah. brilliant boots. Let me try them on then. Yeah. So you get. Uh, you need I'll to, hold it, I'll hold yeah, it. you hold it, you hold it. Why mm, can't I hold it? Mm, let go, you can't see. So, turn it the other way around so you can see it's clean. Okay, right, so, let your brother hold it now. Then hold it. Okay, hold it properly though, don't put your finger over the lens, and don't drop it. So I'm just going to try this on. So I've got these dry fit socks, I wore age ago, I never wore them with the Mercurials because they were just when they were killed, it's ridiculous, so these were normal socks. So I'm just going to try these on. Um, it'd be interesting because um, I always see you guys try these on, and I never do. So what what do you think about the, the profile generally of these boots? The dusty profile. What, the way they look, what, in terms of the they shape, nice. they're nice and sleek and stuff. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, only time until I want to wear them, so... The good thing is my feet aren't going to grow. The difference is yeah. if I if we don't wear these again all all for the whole rest of the season, we don't get to go any training in the park, which hopefully we do, um, because we do want to carry on training. Let me just pull that paper out. So um, it doesn't matter because my feet aren't going to grow anymore. Mm -hmm. But you guys, if you don't wear them, no. have you got it focus on? Yeah. It's, so first of all, easy to put on, really nice slip on. They feel really snug even without the lace is done. So if I go like that, you can probably wear these without laces. You want to, not you would, because they're sort of locked down, but that's not lifting up at all much, is it? A bit, but I'm not playing at a high, high, I'm not gonna be playing full stop. Okay. Never know, I may, but it'd be probably quite embarrassing if I did try and play, but, but we're at training, so I can give you the ball well and protect my feet, because when you do kick the ball, I don't know, it's like, um, it was always uncomfortable with Mercurials because of the size. So I never know if it's uncomfortable, but you can't truly really get a barefoot sensation because you've got these thick socks on. It's really, really skinny, thin socks. You don't wear thin socks with football, do you? Yeah, uh, grip socks. Your grip socks are quite thin, but they're not mega thin, so they're still not barefoot. But 
I don't understand, barefoot can be quite uncomfortable. So they talk about comfort, they talk about leather boots, don't they? So why are they comfortable? Um, let me just try it on. Watch. Let me just lace these up first. So I'm taking the place of you. Yeah. So firstly the laces. What do you think the laces? Good. Good, good length? A bit too yeah. big. But if you double knot Yeah, them. double, so I'll double knot them. So I do that. You can double knot the loops, remember. The, you can do it like this if you want to. If they're too short, and these obviously aren't too short, but you've got really short ones. Then I, I don't know where I learnt it from, but just pull these across more, and just double knot the loop if they're too small. And that's enough, but I don't need to do that. So, <laughs> sometimes when the laces look, are too long, it looks a bit rubbish, if you ask me. Not that to look trendy, but it's nice to. Look. So now, yeah, you've got more locking. Oh, that's slipping a bit. Wait, your ones isn't in any of the side holes. Well, it is. Mine isn't either. It is. It's here. Yeah. Yeah. So you could go there yeah. and then we'll lock down. They're earth providing Obviously, actually, good point. I have to make them longer because you want to put them in the other yeah. loops. Yeah. I don't think I'd do that. I think they're fine. So, first of all, um, they feel comfy. Go over they there. feel tight, but they feel comfy. I'm going to turn around. Yeah, so. Go on. Huh? You marked it before I marked it. Go. Oh, did it mark it? Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that Go. Uh, Let's see the label. Get close, get close. There you go. And then, you, so you've got these little holes, remember, you can slot it. It's into the top one, but you can slot any one of these. Yep. Let me try it out. So go back. So you should And then, yeah, you go the inside, show the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, it would be nice to have a really like blackout kind of really sleek colour, nice colourway, but uh, who cares about colour? No, not pink, unless you're in a pink. Some, <laughs> yeah, I like remember the pink predators. The pink predators and the pink mercurials. Pink mercurials? The older mercurials. They sell in a Nike store, oh, yeah. so expensive. Yeah. And they still insist on it. They'll never sell those things. Too expensive, but yeah, they've, been there, they've been there for like two years. Show your studs. Show your studs. Pink view, huh? The the So the colorway. Who cares about the colorway? You care about the boots. You don't care about the color. Care about the boots. So what would you suggest that I do now wear with these them. boots? Wear them. Wear them where? Um, around the house. Around the house. Don't wear them outside I because they end up being too uncomfortable. You can't return them. You can't return them. They won't accept them. They accept them. Not fair because you've messed up the shoes, they can't sell them again. If you're gonna get your name put on them, you better make sure they fit. If you if it's a free thing or any modification to them that they do that you can't sell on again because it's being personalized for you, any number or or flag or name, you you can't wear if they're no good, they're no good. You can't wear them they're too uncomfortable, you can't wear them if you find they're too small, tough. These are fine. Um so I've got I've got, I've got this space yeah. here, about that much space and I'm a size Normally I'm a size eight and a eight, eight and a half are different things. Yeah. So this nine and a half whole size up, so it pays to try them out in a shop first because otherwise I have to send them back and they don't do free returns because we found out about your clothes. So one of the things about M M Direct is they sell some hoodies and trousers if you're buying some, especially for you guys, your size. The medium top I bought was tiny, it was like a small, and your size tops, hoodies and trousers, certain company we bought them from, I don't know which so one it was, which nice make, so. they're tiny, so I had to return them all, and it cost me £13 to return, because it's over 2 kgs worth of clothes, which is, we thought we'd get some cheap um, clothes, so it, doesn't, it, it doesn't always pay off, so you live and you learn, what's wrong? Does it thing there that goes there. Yeah, this nice I thing here. Have yeah, you got that now? Yeah. So just a strip down the middle. This probably just, I don't know if it's reinforced or more. So, but this is kind of really, it's a nice collar. Yeah, I like the colours aren't that good, but this is nice and very elasticated and tight. Remember the um, Predators? Yeah. It's had the bit at the back and it's yeah. come out. This is quite nice and snug. It's still not mega snug. It should be more tighter, I think. More yes. elasticated, tighter. Yeah, because this is the front bit used to bend. Yeah, the front one used to crease, but this is nice. Nice design. Puma have always been a force of football, but they just went out of 
off the scene for quite a bit and now they're back on. I'm just worried that it's going to become one of these brands that it's going to no longer be a secret. And as it get more popular, the price will go up like Skoda, for example. You could buy a Skoda mm. and it's like a Volkswagen basically. And now everyone knows they're good, yeah, you know, the price has gone up and everything. Like taxi Every, everyone's got them, so um and Puma's gonna you how you used to have yeah, this Yeah, Puma's Puma's are one of these brands that are getting better and better. Now they've got a big contract they did with um big deal they did the city with the kit. Um their boots are getting better. I think it's still got a bit of way to go to be as good as Adidas and Nike. What do you think? Yeah. Or do you think but having said that, maybe we they need to release more different types. Yeah, maybe. I think the net, but the well, platinum kings might be very good. What oh, platinum kings? The Pumas. Are they? They might be very good. Um, and Netflix. and Netflix, they they meant be. Yeah, you know they're good, don't you? Know the futures. You know the futures are good. Platinum. Well, in their own way, because they're leather boot, aren't they? Complete leather boot. Oh, are they better than the one ones? Oh, I I don't know, but um, on all the um. Point the boy? The views, they say they're the good boots, so that's why we got them. I, I think they're quite comfortable. How you've had you find them that first match then, your ones, your um, soft grounds? Yeah, they were good. Any it, pains or discomfort? Were you distracted by them? Did you think about the boots or were you just thinking about the game? Just the game. Well, that's it then. They're, they're fine. First time and they're going to just get better. The leather moulds more to your feet. So, this is mainly leather here. And I think the rest is synthetic, so it's just the front part of leather. On the newer ones, the inside's leather as well, isn't it? The instep, this area here is leather as well. Yeah. But on these ones and the ones above those, but the new, new ones. Yeah, you can get ones that are synthetic. Yeah, but they're not maybe really good. Yeah. They're not as good as these. So, what do you think? Like them? Yeah. Yes. I think they look great. I'm going to try them out. We'll, we'll try and do a few videos, but not individual ones. We'll do a few videos for each of your boots yeah. and we'll just rate them in terms of comfort and everything. So your soft grounds, your mercurials, once you start wearing them, your Predator FGs and your Netfit FGs, your your um, Netfits and your One Ones. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just see. Wear them for, let's say for a good couple of months into the season. Yeah. Wear them because you'll still go. You'll go back to Netflix, won't you? When it goes so firm, yeah. the firm, ground goes firm again. Mm -hmm. Wait till the end of the season, maybe do a review of all of them. We're not wearing Netflix for training. Okay, yeah, Netflix training, because train after. So we give some feedback, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I hope. Go on. Please. Good. I think you should do it now. Please, like and subscribe to, um. Boy Bandit channel, your channel. Yeah. And uh, and subscribe to Awesome Kid YouTube as well because good stuff on there as well. If you want to learn a bit about football or how not to do it, <laughs> I had learned from our mistakes. And then we'll uh, see you next video. Yeah. Bye. Take care. Bye.